three batsmen hit 50s as Kent had the better of day two against Worcestershire. Kent resumed well placed on 55 without loss, responding to 211 all out from Worcestershire, but Kent were close to losing an early wicket when a big leg before appeal against Bell Drummond was turned down. Abbott then found the edge of Bell Drummond's bat, the opener living a charmed life as the ball skipped away for four. Fellow opener Dixon looked more convincing with a lovely straight drive, but lost his partner Bell Drummond for 37, caught brilliantly by Whiteley to his left off the bowling of Abbott. New batsman Denley clipped off his legs for four nicely, whilst Dixon also found the leg side fence. Dixon found the offside boundary against Leach and clipped Barnard through the leg side too. Denley was bowled by a peach from Morris for 21, but Dixon kept going nicely, though his captain Northeast could make only one, caught by Clark off a leading edge from Barnard. Dixon continued to progress though, smashing Rhodes through mid on for four as Kent reached 152 for three at lunch. The afternoon began with Billings clipping Rhodes for four, but Dixon, who had anchored the Kent innings to this point, chopped on for 79 against Barnard. A full toss from Barnard was dispatched by Billings, while Stevens cut the same bowler for four. Billings had made a start but couldn't convert it, caught behind off Morris for 33, the wicketkeeper batsman visibly disappointed. Stevens dispatched a full toss for six, Bowler Rhodes annoyed at providing such a good scoring opportunity, but he responded nicely by creating a chance against Stevens, who was dropped at cover. Blake could make little impact, caught by Whiteley at mid-wicket off Leach for only nine. Stevens continued to score, striking Leach for an offside four, then cutting Rhodes for two boundaries. Stevens was going along very nicely, but he was nearly run out after a mix-up with Gibman, though the pair survived and the seventh wicket stand kept going. In the early evening, Stevens finally went, caught by Clark off Leach for 81. Gibman and Treadwell took Kent past 300, allowing the host to claim their third batting point. Treadwell was the next man to depart, caught behind off Barnard for nine. Gibman combined with new man Coles to put on 51 for the ninth wicket, with Coles dominating the scoring. Coles eventually fell for 41, caught by Clark off Rhodes. Gibman and Claydon took Kent through to stumps with an unbroken partnership of 21 for the 10th wicket. Kent reached 397 for 9 at stumps, Gibman and measured 54 not out, Claydon unbeaten on 13. Kent with a more than handy first innings lead of 186 with one wicket still remaining. <laughs>